start with the large sum for the couple circuits. The reason of taking large sum because the combination of couples have been taken in every sums. Up, up, down, down, up, left, right, 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 left, left, all combination. The reason of taking this last sum because in this case you have three meshes. So let's see how to deal with three meshes or how to find the currents for this case. In this circuit, it's given find the current across mesh three. So your mesh three given is this case. This is your I1. This is your I2. So the question says find. I3. So let's see how to find your current I3. When I say about dot convention, I need to remove the dot convention with respect to a voltage source. So I have a dot over here, over here. So replace it by a voltage source. So your circuit will look in this manner. When I replace it by voltage source, my next question arises. It should be plus minus or it should be minus plus. The combination says up, up, down, down, right, right, left, left. Plus minus plus minus combination mix up down down up left right right left it will be minus plus so if I observe my both the dot my one dot is behind and one dot is up it is a combination mix combination so my sign convention will be minus plus minus plus my next thing next logic is what is given in the question is it given M is it given K the question in this case, it is given the value is J5 ohms. When it is given J5 ohms, that means the value given in ohms, that is the value for M. When it is given K, that will be only a number, only a constant. That is the only way you should recognize K it is M or it is K. It will never be written as N equal to or K equal to. You should recognize by looking at the values. Ohms, M. Without a unitless value, it will be k. Okay. If it is given k, you need to calculate m i k current. So m is equal to k into under root l1 l2. So let's do it. In this case, so it's given the value for m. That means you already got the value for the voltage source. The value for voltage source is nothing but your j5, the value which you got of m. After writing the sign convention, after writing the value for the voltage source, now it's your time. When you write upon the coupling part, the coupling part is represented by the current source. So please be very careful while writing the equation. When I say coupling part, this depends on this. In this dot, which current is entering first? You will say it I1, later on I2. So over here, you will be writing I1 minus I2 because this depends on this. So your term will be, my dear friend, I1 minus I2. Second, when you talk about second case, the second case is this case, right? So you draw a voltage source for this point. This point depends on this point. So for this voltage, your current flowing in this point is I3. So you will be writing, my dear friend, over here, I3. So that's all about your circuit. So let's start writing the table equation so that we can find the value for I1, I2, and I3. So let's have the mesh equation for the following circuit since you have three loops so you'll be having three mesh equations so applying kvl in mesh one we get in mesh one you have if you observe carefully you have two components add them so you'll be getting four plus j4 apart from this any other current is flowing yes in j4 I2 is flowing, so sign will be negative. In 4 ohms, I3 is flowing, so sign will be negative. Equal to, you will be having a voltage source. So in mesh 1, you will be having two voltage source. Your current enters in negative, so you will be writing positive. Your current enters into negative, you will be writing positive. That will be J5 I2. Rule says, on equal to, there should be only number. All your variable term should be shifted towards your left. So the equation would be 4 plus J4 I1 minus J4 I2 minus 4 I3 minus 
J5 IP equal to 200 angle 30 that will be our equation number 1. Simplify further I3 and I3 of 2 terms. Take it common. So the equation, fine equation of our first mesh will be 4 plus J4 I1 minus 4 J I2 minus you take it common 4 plus J5 I3 equal to it will be 230 angle which will be equation number A. Let's apply for equation number 2. So apply KVL in mesh 2 we get in mesh 2 my dear friends you have different 5 components add them so resistance 7 plus 6 you'll be getting 13 you have plus j4 minus j4 it will get cancelled so it will be get minus j8 your current is i2 your sign will be positive apart from i2 you need to have a look is there any other current flowing in the, the other parameters so they might be I1 and I3. So I1 is flowing across J4, the sign will be negative. And I3 is flowing across 7 minus J8, your sign will be negative, equal to. Equal to, you'll be getting only voltage. So if you observe in mesh 2, you have one voltage. So your current enters into positive, so it will be minus J5 I3. Rule says, on RHS, there should be only none. All your variables should be shifted towards your left. So it will be minus J4 I1 plus 13 minus J8 I2 minus 7 minus J8 I3. Fish of the side will be plus J5 I3 equal to 0. Since I3 have negative over there, so if you take this side inside, then you have a negative sign. The sign changes. So it will be minus J4 I1 plus 13 minus J8 I2. It will be minus 7 minus J8 minus J5. It will be I3 equal to 0. The sign has been changed because there was a negative sign outside. If it would be a positive sign, it will be the same sign. But when it is a negative sign, you have to change the sign. It will be minus J4. I1 plus 13 minus J8 I2 minus 7 minus J13 it will be I3 equal to 0. Equation number 3. Now let's see for the equation number 3. When I said equation number 3, applying KVL in mesh 3, we get in mesh 3 you have. 5 again components. So if you need to add the resistance that is 4 plus 7 it will be 11. 11 plus 12 again you need to add them. So 11 plus 12 when you add them you will be getting 23. So you have 23 resistance and you have plus J16 and minus J8. So it will be plus J8 I3. Since mesh 3 so I3 will be positive. Now you need to obtain among the 5 alert difference resistance and inductor is there any other current flowing i1 i i2 so when you see it you will see it in 4 your i1 flows so it is negative next what about i2 your i2 flows across 7 minus j8 since it is mesh 3 so your i2 is negative equal to on equal to you will be having only voltages when you observe the third mesh you will get only one voltage, it, turns, it enters into negative, so it will be plus J5 bracket I1 minus I2. Any other voltages? No. So simplify the above equation so that you can get equation number 6. So your equation C is minus 4 I1 minus bracket 7 minus J8 I2 plus 23 plus J8 I3 shift over here it will be minus j5 i1 minus i2 equal to 0 simplify it minus 4 i1 minus 7 minus j8 i2 plus 
23 plus j8 i3 open the brackets it's minus j5 i1 minus minus plus so minus j i2 equal to 0 so i1 i1 term so take it common so it will be minus 4 com minus common so it will be minus bracket 4 plus j5 i1 i2 and i2 there's a minus sign outside so you have to change this sign so minus 7 minus j8 minus j5 i2 only left is i3 term that is plus 23 plus j8 i3 equal to 0 simplify it minus 4 plus j5 i1 7 minus j 13 i2 plus 23 plus j8 i3 equal to so this will be equation number c so ultimately i needed to find out i3 so my i3 will be now 3 by 3 matrix for i3 i just need to replace my i3 column by all by rhs value so value will be 200 30 0 0 the rest all the values will be my coefficient all the values will be my coefficient of all the three equations put the values this will be a homework for you guys put all the values in place simplify i3 the i3 value the final value which you guys should be getting it the i3 value should be equal to 16.28 angle 16.87 degree spheres that should be the value of i3 which you guys will be solving it as a number so at the end that's what we have in couple circuits hope you guys have enjoyed it and you just need to have a thorough practice with it because if there is a slight change in plus minus equation your whole system goes wrong so please make it sure you have a thorough practice with the sign convention that is must thank you so much guys signing off